Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 2 video. Apologize if there's some sound then, uh, but I just had to move my microphone a little bit closer because it's the other side of the desk. I don't know why I started when it was over there, but yeah, what we're going to do this episode is we're just going to have a drift, we're going to have a talk. Um, I was going to talk about something specific, but as soon as I started this commentary, it's just completely just gone out of my mind. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, so I want to run the Subaru Legacy um, RS, there we go, um, absolutely a beast car, unbelievable beast right now, um, probably one of my best cars, it's so stable um, and there's not too much resistance in the wheel either but it's still got the perfect force feedback uh, which is what I love about this, uh, this car, it just feels so good. Um, so yeah, this tune is up on the storefront um, if you want to try it out. I don't know how it performs on controller, uh, but seeing as it is so, 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 so stable on on um, on the wheel, um, I would not be surprised. Um, I'm trying to find the start point here. Uh, I'm just going to practice this section. Um, I'm not really the best at this section, so this is the reason I'm going to drift in this area. Uh, just to get some practice down and um, so yeah Subaru Legacy um, hope you guys enjoy the tune um, it is my best tune and I've given it away for free so make sure you do download it I just realized the music's on okay there we go okay so let's get drifting around the section um, it is kind of a section that the Kev 77 found um, so it's not really a known section um, and I want to kind of learn it because I haven't got any of the corners down. I need to learn the speed, um, how like that. I've hit the wall. I need to learn my speeds. I need to learn the lines and stuff. Um, so this is probably a good chance to do that um, in episode one. I just drift around here, and what I wanted to talk about is, as some of my old subscribers will know, um, I used to have a series on Forza Four. Um, it was called um, Hit That Shit. And that was what brought in most of my subscribers. Um, and seeing as um, Horizon 2 hasn't really got like a replay um, storefront, it is a struggle to make some hit like shit videos uh, because I can't see your guys' entries, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, because on Forza 4, they just had the replay, the replay thingy, so you could go on there um, and search a certain title, and they would all come up, which is was really handy, especially if you wanted to do a video like I was doing and getting your guys entries and I really enjoyed doing that series um, it was probably one of my best series and I really enjoyed making it seeing your guys attempts at like drifts and drifting a certain spot um, but I kind of want to start it up on Forza Horizon 2 uh, but I'm going to gauge some interest because obviously Forza Horizon 2 there's no replay editor uh, but if you're on Xbox One you do have um, the game DVR which obviously records gameplay for you um, and I don't know how to work this. Oh shit, I fucked up. Um, I don't know how to work this. Um, I need to kind of have a little look into it. I just want to gauge your uh, guys' interest as well. Um, because obviously game DVR can record the game. Um, what you guys can do if you don't want to do that, um, you can just record on like a camera as long as it's not like potato quality. Uh, as long as it's, it's not too bad quality that you can actually see the car. Um, see what's going on. Um, I'm sure entries like that can be entered as well uh, but it's just working out a way to get the entries sent in and get them um, all gone through without having to download clips if you know what I mean uh, because if I'm downloading like a, a one minute video if I'm downloading like 20 of those because 20 people entered it's gonna take most of my time just quite literally downloading videos um, and then you could download the video like no offence but it could be the worst thing ever and you just wasted all that time when there could be one uh, that is a lot better um, but yeah I don't know how to do this because obviously Horizon 2 doesn't have a replay ad uh, a replay kind of storefront kind of replay what did they used to call it? it was like replay something or whatever um, but unfortunately they don't have that um, on Forza Horizon 2 so we're going to probably have to use the game DVR. Um, I will get back to you guys on how to get 
through this because I need to work out a way um, because I don't really use the game DVR so I don't know how it works or anything like that which is something I've got to look into but at the moment I'm just gauging interest on who would actually want to do hit that shit um, on Forza Horizon 2 so basically um, say I was started here and I pick a spot that you got to hit um, by hit I just mean drift it and there'll be certain bits that you kind of have to do and say I do this line uh, like we go left there and then you got to prolong this and then go right here and just say like that was the section quite literally just that um, I would get your guys entries you send them in um, we need to work out a way to send them on obviously um, we'd work out a way to do that um, and basically you send them in I go through all the entries and then the next episode I'll do a top five of hit that shit and the winner will probably get some um, put it like a what can we do like a, a currency on game if you know what I mean like in-game currency um, kind of like Xbox one like the Microsoft points I think it is I don't know if they've changed it now um, but I could do that for first place every time um, yeah, I thought it'd be a really good idea, idea to get you guys involved again uh, because unfortunately Forza Horizon 2 doesn't have the replay function. Um, as you can see here, we've got social, uh, we've got community news, and that is pretty much about it. Uh, marketplace, uh, there's all their money grabbing like car packs and stuff, uh, but there's nothing for the community, which is really annoying. Uh, we got photos, <laughs> we've got quite literally photo gallery. Uh, gallery. Um, but you can't do videos which is absolute tits I'm not gonna lie like why 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 would they do that I have no idea um, I'm just checking just if there was video and it did slip past me but there is no videos uh, which is unfortunate um, so yeah we're gonna have to have a look at the upload studio um, just to see how it is because obviously when you use the game DVR um, on the like Xbox One um, you have to upload the videos to Upload Studio so I don't know if I can just search on Upload Studio and just get you guys to do like hashtag hit that shit or something um, if I search on the Upload Studio um, if they will all come up or not um, I need to have a look uh, because I never never actually got onto it so that is one thing I've got to do uh, but yeah, it's just about gauging your guys' interest at the moment though and just working out how to do this as well um, because Hit That Shit was it was so fun to do, I really enjoyed it um, it got you guys involved with the channel as well and I'm not going to lie, it was probably one of my most popular series and that is why I want to bring it back um, that what made my channel grow and as you can probably tell now, I'm not getting the views that I used to and a lot of that is down to the fact that there's no community aspect on my channel anymore um, and I do apologise for that, um, I'm not going to lie, but the games have restricted me. Um, obviously, Forza 5, I couldn't do open lobbies because um, you couldn't really make a lobby. Um, Forza 4 was the perfect game for a YouTuber. Um, you could just make those public lobbies and anyone could join. You could call it like Kevin Toll Open Lobby and you just get people joining and it was perfect. Uh, but Forza 5, it restricted that. Um, you had to add everyone. Like you had to have them as a friend um, to invite them to the game. So my friends list would have had 10,000 people in it because obviously 10,000 subscribers. Um, like obviously not 10,000 are going to uh, going to join, but there's going to be about a lot of people, you know, on my friends list. And I'd have had to add every single person. And Forza 5 didn't aid that. Um, Forza Horizon 2 um, is a little bit better. Um, I'm just on streams. I'm doing open lobby on streams. Um, if you go onto Twitch, um, my Twitch is in the description below. If you go onto there, um, I do stream open lobbies on there. So if you want to get involved with Forza Horizon 2 and get in some open lobbies, get on some door. Uh, we call the stream Daily Door. So, you know, we're all about that door life. Um, so yeah, check my Twitch if you want open lobbies. Uh, but in terms of the Forza kind of series, um, it's not helped. Uh, me and getting you guys involved because hit that shit was perfect that was probably the best thing I have ever done on YouTube um, having that upload not uh, upload studio just the replay 
um, viewer on Forza, on Forza 4, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Um, I could just get you guys to upload it onto the Forza 4 replay, and then I go through the replay and just pick the bit that you guys hit it. But obviously, Forza took away most of that that I used to use. Um, Forza 5, the replays, um, you couldn't get rid of like the play and stop and stuff, um, so they fucked that up. Um, so yeah, they haven't done too well in terms of what I want to do on YouTube, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but obviously, that is only me, and if you're looking at a non-YouTuber kind of aspect, it's probably perfect, like, perfect community game um, to get involved with other people, but I want to do hit that shit again. Um, I'm gauging your guys' interest, um, because obviously you guys want to get involved on the channel, and I want to get you guys involved in the channel as well. Um, maybe, I don't know, I was going to think of something then, but it wouldn't work. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just one of my ideas, you know, one of those ideas that just, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm slowly getting better at this section. Uh, that was the main aim of this episode, while talking to you guys about Hit That Shit. Um, we're slowly getting better, um, slowly getting the line down. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty hard section, to be honest. Um, like here, my gear is not perfect to do that in one, but if you straighten up a tiny bit, it's alright. And then this bit's really long as well. You don't realise how long you have to actually prolong that bit. Um, I always cut in too early. Um, that car got completely in the way. That one's nearly got in the way. Probably the best corner, that one. Um, you can throw it in with more angle than I'm doing. But seeing as I'm just trying to learn the section, I don't want to going to be throwing my car in backwards and shit. Uh, but yeah, this Subaru Lex Legacy is up on the storefront, so go download it. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, I want to get you guys involved in my channel as well. Um, that's what happened with my Photoshop uh, kind of series. It's getting you guys involved, uh, getting your entries, um, and that's what I want to start doing on my channel a little bit more. So from now on, uh, we're going to try and get hit that shit going. Uh, I'm going to check out upload... Look at that parking. Uh, we're going to check out the upload studio and see what the hell is going on. Uh, but for this episode, I think that's going to be about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And let me know what you think about hit that shit. Um, obviously, I want to bring it back on to get you guys involved. Um, and yeah, let me know. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>